What's up, YouTube? This is JP Panther, back with a video. In today's video is actually my uh, box office update when it comes to Shang-Chi and the Legends of the Ten Rings uh, for box office for the second week of, of September, uh, the second uh second week of this uh box office run so again it remains really strong again i will link the article in the description box down below so you guys check it out so right now shang chi and i'm very very proud of shang chi just to let you guys know uh shang chi in the second week dominate with 35.8 million domestically and uh in 4,300 theaters it's at 145 million and then it's uh it's doing really bad doing really good stuff like that and it did uh how much money did it make internationally it made uh what was it uh I'm trying to see the exact number it did like 35 million domestically and stuff like that again you guys could look more into it as well but to sum it up uh shang chi did very very well i'm very very proud of the movie and honestly, I'm very, very proud of, again, Semi Lu, yeah, he's in, you know, with China and stuff like that. Um, but I'm very, very proud of Shang-Chi, man. I really, really am. Because right now, it did 35.2 million, .2 million internationally this weekend. So it's doing very, very well. It's at $257 million, uh, worldwide. And again, we'll get the exact numbers tomorrow. But I'm very, very proud of Shang-Chi and stuff like that. And also the thing is with this movie, I will say is that you also got to realize, right? It's the first Asian superhero, kind of like Black Panther. You know, first black superhero, first Asian superhero, stuff like that. So it's going to have a lot more weight. But then if you read the demographics, at least when it comes to the stuff they put out, at least for the first week, if, at least in America, I don't know about worldwide, stuff like that, more Caucasian, more white people are seeing it than Asians. It's like 36% white uh, twenty three percent uh Asian, twenty two percent Hispanic, eighteen percent African Americans. I'm like black people. They're not gonna go show up for Aquafina. You know, some black people will, like me, but like they're not showing up for no black set. It's just what it is. But um, I'm very very proud of Shang Chi. I'm happy that's making money. Um, but do you think it's not gonna make no billion dollars? We all know that because of COVID, whatever. And I'm surprised he's even doing this well during all this happening. But it does show you that if you put out a good movie, put out a good product, people will go see it. And also it does show you that, you know, you could put a movie on Labor Day and it can still make money. And also shang is doing well enough where, you know, Venom got moved up. Now, James Bond, Dune, uh, My Hero, um, Halloween Kills. So pretty much October is going to be, every week gonna, for October is going to be stack, stack, stack. So it's going to be something in there, something new every week, at least when it comes to October. But it's also crazy how Shang-Chi, if you watch the movie, and again, I will say this. I'm not going to spoil the movie because some people have not seen it. But I will say that they do take a lot of, not even take, they steal, they, no, they steal a bunch of anime manga stuff. Like Demon Slayer, My Hero, Dragon Ball, Godzilla vs. King Kong, uh, Bleach, Naruto. I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll see it when you watch the third act in Shang-Chi. Like you could blatantly tell they stole a lot of stuff from Broly the Second Coming the second Broly movie. But again, it is still a good movie. I liked it. But it just shows you that Disney has to, you know, steal a bunch of anime from the Japanese in order in like you'll see like the Pokemon references and stuff like that. But they have to steal all this stuff from the Japanese and anime just to make a profit. And if you know how Disney is, they'll do anything for that dollar. It's just what it is. That's just how Disney is. But it's just crazy how they got to do all these antics just to get profitable. You feel me? And it does show you that anime manga is taking over. If Disney, a billion dollar corporation like Disney, has to steal from the anime manga stuff in order to make a profit. Which is crazy. It was pretty much a live action Dragon Ball Z movie. Let's just keep it honest. But the movie was good. I'm still happy for it. Um, the thing is, if you look at the box office projection or whatever, it's going to do well because you also got to realize it's September. There's nothing out until October. So it's going to have at least four weeks to be number one. Until October 1st, that's when Venom will come in there and knock it out, obviously. But it has a really good chance of becoming making its money back and being profitable during that time. So Shang-Chi will already make its money back. And I'm just very, very proud of it. I'm happy that it's doing very, very well. Better than a lot of people expect it. And let's just see it continue making money. Let's see it continue doing well. And um, I really have nothing more else to say about that. Um, but with Shang-Chi... Proud of him, proud of the movie, proud of the cast, and he's a great addition to the MCU, I will say that. Now, I will say one thing is that with Shang-Chi, 
it's easier to kind of sell with him. Now, Eternals, I think, is going to be a harder sell because you got to realize with Shang-Chi, uh, what do you want to say before where I go? Um, with Shang-Chi, the movie budget is like $150 million, so the marketing is probably like $50 million because the way they didn't really promote it like that. Add that $200 million times two, you know times that by two. So the movie, ne- Shang-Chi needs to make at least four hundred to $500 million to make profit worldwide, and it'll definitely do that. It, it'll de- I guarantee it'll definitely do that. Um It'll be profitable, and also you have home video sales and stuff like on demand and stuff like that. So they'll make a profit. It'll be more profitable than Black Widow. But when it comes to, um, trying to when it comes to Shang Chi and stuff like that, um, I think it's much easier to sell. I think Eternals is gonna be a harder sell because of the characters. There's a lot of people in there. They're not as interesting. You gotta explain a lot of stuff. So again, Eternals could do well, but the problem is Eternals is like another two hundred million move. Uh, budget movie and then the marketing is like a hundred something million so you gotta add that that's 300 million times that by two you need to make at least 600 to 700 million to make a profit personally with this kind of movie with the eternals so again shang chi's doing well tell me what you guys think about this let me know in the comment section below tell me what you guys think about the second weekend drop i think it only dropped over like 54 percent which is pretty good but people thought I was going to have like a Black Panther kind of drop, like a 45 or 40 something percent, which was not going to happen. It's just, it is what it is. So, again, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace and have a great day and take care.